Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Thomas Weekly. I am a graphic designer and a whitewater kayaking enthusiast. And today I'm going to show you how to create an animated loop from a photograph. So you can apply this to your own photo. You know what I mean? Hit a little, little selfie of you in front of a waterfall just drinking on a vegan protein shake. Or you can follow the first link in the description to download the photo I'm working with here and follow step by step. There's only one little prerequisite for following this tutorial, and that's a little bit of experience drawing paths with the pen tool. Aside from that, I think this is a great tutorial for people who are just getting into After Effects because it's going to introduce you to all kinds of tools and tactics. The most exciting thing about this tutorial is that you can use this animation technique on all kinds of shit. It's not just for waterfalls or water. You can make a snake's scales look like they're crawling or clouds look like they're moving through the sky. So follow the tutorial, learn the technique, and then go out and do something creative of your own with it. I can't wait to see what y'all come up with. So enough talking, let's get started. Drag the photo into the project panel, then drag that photo down to the composition icon at the bottom of the panel to create a new composition based on the dimensions of that photo. Go to composition and composition settings, and I'd suggest using 30 or 24 frames per second for this. I'm going to use 24 frames per second and I'm going to make my composition a little bit longer. Bring it up to about 5 seconds. Now the first thing I want to do is remove the kayaker from the waterfall. So that way we have a solid water background to make it look like it's flowing behind the kayaker. To do this we're going to use the clone stamp tool. So let's copy our layer and name it background. To use the clone stamp tool we need to isolate this layer and to do that we're going to go in our timeline and double click the layer. To bring up a clone stamp tool, you're going to hit Command B on the keyboard or click the little stamp icon in the tools palette. Next, we're going to open the brush palette and select a soft round brush. You can control the size of your brush by Command clicking and dragging. And now we'll all click to sample areas of the waterfall and brush them over the kayaker. The little crosshair you see when you're brushing indicates the area of the photograph that you've sampled. Now that we've brushed out the kayaker, I'm going to go up to the top of the viewer and click back into our composition. Okay, next step is to isolate the kayaker. So let's take the original photo layer and rename it kayaker. Next I'm going to select the pen tool from the tools palette and draw an outline around the kayaker. And this will be our mask. Let's change the color of this mask so we can see the path we're drawing. Now I want to soften this mask to make it look a little more natural, so I'm going to go into my layer, hit the little arrow to show my mask options, and set the feathering to 10 pixels. Also going to bring the mask expansion to minus 3 pixels. Now I'm going to repeat that process to take care of this area under the arm. And we're going to set this mask to subtract. Let's go ahead and adjust the feathering and the mask expansion. Let's try four for the mask expansion. Okay, now we're ready to start animating. I'm gonna copy the background layer and name it Waterfall. Then I'm gonna hit Y on the keyboard to select the Pan Behind tool. And then I'm gonna use the Pan Behind tool to click and drag the anchor point to the very top of the waterfall layer so that it'll scale from the top, giving us a natural flow effect. Now I'm gonna make sure my playhead is at the beginning of the timeline Select the waterfall layer, hit S on the keyboard to bring up the scale property. Then I'm going to click the stopwatch to set my keyframe for scale. Now I'm going to choose one second as the basis for what will be our loop. So let's drag our work area down to one second. Now I'm going to drag the playhead out to one second and scale the waterfall layer vertically and a little bit horizontally so it looks like it's flowing. Let's unconstrain the proportions for scale and I'm going to do 107 horizontally and 176 vertical. Okay, let's preview this. Next, with our waterfall layer selected, I'm going to hit T on the keyboard to bring up opacity. I'm going to click the stopwatch to set a keyframe for opacity. 
Let's bring the playhead to one second and fade that opacity to 15%. Again, I'm setting these keyframes at one second because one second is the basis for our loop. Let's turn our background layer on and take another look. Okay, this looks good, but the water is just flowing off the bottom of the image, which isn't right. So let's copy our background layer and drag it to the top and name this one Outflow. So grab your pen tool and start masking. Now that we've got that masked, let's copy this layer, drag it below Outflow, and name it Outflow Base. This layer will provide a background for the animated Outflow layer. Now I'm going to feather the mask on both the outflow and the outflow base layer, and then we'll repeat our steps to animate the outflow layer. We're going to set the anchor point. We're going to set this one a little bit off center to make the flow look realistic. Animate the scale. I'm going to bring the scale out to 200 and 178, and then we'll do the opacity. And I'm going to bring the opacity to 0%. Remember, we're doing all of this at one second. Now it's time to create our loop. So let's make sure our layers are all trimmed down to one second. Now I'm going to set a marker in the middle of my waterfall layer using keyword shortcut Control 8. That's going to be 12 frames in in a 24 frame per second composition. And we're going to use this marker to stack the layers in a stair step formation, with each layer starting at the marker in the middle of the next. So let's copy and paste our waterfall layer four times and create this stair step formation. Now let's take our outflow layer and give it the same stair step formation. And next we want to select all of our layers except for Outflow Base and Kayaker and move them so that they start and end at the same place where three layers from each group overlap. And this creates our loop. Now as a bonus I'm going to show you how to loop your loop so you can have this play for a longer period of time and go into After Effects and add some additional motion or animated titles or whatever. Let's select everything and pre-compose. Now go into your pre-comp, select Composition Settings, and set the composition to one second. Go back into your original comp and right click and enable time remapping. Now alt click the stopwatch for time remapping and add a loop out expression. Now it's looping but we have a blip. So let's put our playhead right before the last keyframe under time remapping and click to create a new keyframe. And then drag that one over to replace the last keyframe. That's it, you're done. Now you can go do this to all your Instagram photos and become famous. Just go get you some butt implants and just become a straight up influencer. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, please hit that subscribe button right there. And like I said, I can't wait to see what y'all create with this. So tag me on Instagram, at Weekly Design. If you have any questions at all, please drop them in the comments section below. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope y'all have a great day.